Hi, everybody. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to just hang out here for a little bit and let you guys come on in. Hey, Winston. Uh, wow. Okay, so in a few minutes, I'm going to be on this Majority Report, Sam Cedar Show, and I'm going to be um, recording on my end here, so there's no discrepancies, no confusion about uh, what I said, what he said, how it gets distorted later. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see or hear his uh, his side uh, because I have the headphones on. But that's okay because you'll be able to see it in a lot of different ways. You'll be able to see it on his uh, his end. What's he, what he's going to do is he's going to try to dominate and, you know, it's, I'm going on in his turf, whatever. I've done it before. And I've done, been in this situation many times. So I will roll with whatever punches come my way. We'll see. Uh, let me... One o'clock, 10, 11, 12. So about five minutes from now. Uh, obviously, the big news today is the stand-up special coming later today right here uh, on the channel. We're going to be streaming that at 6 p.m. Pacific. That's 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern. 7, 6 8 p.m. Central in Chicago and, and throughout the Midwest. Uh, after the I'll be in the chat. After the stream, There will it will be on my YouTube channel. You can watch it whenever you want. And I'm just uh, waiting to get into this uh, Zoom room for Sam's show. That's going to be happening shortly. And... If you want to watch his uh, his side of it, I guess you go to Majority Report on YouTube. They're always streaming there. Uh, wish there was some way you could hear his side of it. Did I not think this through? Uh, let me think. Uh, let me think. Uh, That's what you got to do. Let me think here. <whistles> Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. We're, the tip jar will be open for the special tonight. So you're getting a free hour of comedy. Why don't you go ahead and uh, throw the production and... Uh, some some cash we paid a lot of money you'll see it's a beautifully uh just beautifully made special um what could we do to get his side of it we could split this out that's too complicated I don't want to do it. What you should do is get two screens open right now. Get the, uh, uh, oh, I could, I just, do, maybe I have a headphone splitter. Hold on. Let me see about that.
the opposite. I need the opposite of this. I need the opposite of this. Oh well, let's, uh, yeah, very annoying. Oh, I gotta jump on, hold on. All right, well, you're just gonna get, uh... oh, you know what, maybe I'll just do, my speakers. That'll be good. Okay, my audio preferences. Speaker is MacBook speakers. Mic is here. Okay. They're going to have to live with that. Because I mean, you guys need to hear both sides of this. Um, uh, it's going to be a showdown. Absolutely. We can hear Matt. We can hear it on Majority Report. If you type that in on YouTube, you should be able to find it. I can see the super chat, I believe. I can only see the super chat when somebody pays for it. By the way, I hope nobody understands that the special tonight isn't a live performance. It is something we filmed and has been edited and is going to be, it's like a movie. But I will be in the chat to welcome everyone. I don't know how you thought we made a... You know, I don't like to be sort of left at the altar here. I was supposed to be on about a minute ago and I'm still waiting in their waiting room. And it's very disrespectful. It isn't, it, Jason, it's unprofessional. Uh, happy birthday to uh, Tim, my buddy Tim. Uh, 30 is a big year, of course. Uh, congratulation. Congratulation. Somebody, uh, if the, anybody wants to start bombing the majority report comments with Cefe, Fef, Cefe, hi. Uh, whatever. I mean, now is the time. It's really sick what what he's doing. It's really disturbing. You feeling okay lately? You seem miserable. I'm feeling great. Total great. Totally great. 100%. I look great. I always find I have a problem with my uh, Zoom 
my studio down here because whatever wall I look at, it's either like if I have a regular meeting, I can't be, I can't show Ronaldo and Clara back there. I can't show uh, Randy Newman back there. Oh boy. This is this is a real disgrace. It's terrible what they're doing. They're showing me zero respect. I'm just working on my new fidget spinner. It's awful what they're doing. You know what, guys? I'm having myself a soda. It's Friday. It's time to pop a Sprite. It's time to pop a Sprite. Pop a Sprite. Oh, doctor, it's pop a Sprite. Oh, doctor, time for pop a Sprite. Oh, boy. I guess he's setting me up now. Here we go. I'm not watching. I'm preparing. And I want to show, well, let me get this. I don't want to show my screen, reveal all kinds of information. But if you see, I'm in the waiting room. Uh, Tim Heidecker, who's... Um Who's evening with Tim Heidecker um, uh, debuts tonight. He's also the host of Office Hours Live. Tim, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. I just want to give you a heads up. I am, just for archival purposes and verification purposes, I am live streaming this interview right now on my YouTube channel. So if there's any discrepancies or confusion or there's anything you want to end up doing later, we have the record. We are live streaming now. So say hi to everybody hi. on the hi. Tim Heidecker hi. YouTube stream. So, Tim, how, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, we have an exciting big premiere tonight. One of the great, uh, one of my great stand-up specials. It's the first one, so hopefully it'll be the first of many. But we're premiering that tonight. Busy night for comedy with the uh, Ali G movie coming out and everything. But, uh, you know. Well, you know, you know why you're doing, you know why you're, you're, you're feeling great is because this is how you're supposed to treat a guest when they come on a show and um, that's, you're supposed to make them feel comfortable and welcome. And I only say this because I uh, went on your show and within uh, seconds, I did not feel great. Oh and no. Just, you're still, you're still uh, crying about that. <laughs> well, I'm not crying about you it. You seem I'm, like you're really upset. I mean, it seems like you're literally seething with rage about this. Like I, I, I'm sorry if I appear. It was to them. two minutes of your life that you came on my show, and I was happy to. It was actually longer than two minutes. Well, whatever it was, I was gracious enough to have you come on, and I thought we we're going to have a spirited conversation about the state of journalism. Now you dodged it left and right. You dodged it like I've never seen before, and you wanted me to swear about. You wanted me to swear about uh, um, yeah. uh, Cuomo. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. And, and, uh, I yeah. mean, I just, I guess the I point did. is, I just wanted to show you this, just to make you aware that you're feeling great, and that is because... Well, I retract, I retract, I do, I'm not feeling great, and you're not doing a good job, you, you're throwing me under the bus. And, uh, no, I'm not throwing you under the bus. Uh, you know, I'm, my audience, my audience is watching this, they're telling me, they're saying to me right now, this, that, that, you know, you're a bitter, spiteful, seething, angry guy who's trying to throw me under the bus. So whatever, it's what, it, I'm happy. I sleep well at night. I'm a happy guy, but not right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just trying to point it out to you because I thought maybe since you've, you know, recently got into this game of, uh, as we call it, of uh, streaming on YouTube, yeah. that yeah. maybe you'd want to know, you know, how you can get guests to keep coming back on your show. I had the president of the United States call into my show yesterday, on my show yesterday. I had the president of the United States call in, and it was awesome. It was awesome. 
You did. You had the president of the United States call in. You had Donald Trump call into your show. I did. Look at look it up. It's right there on the stream. It was big. One of our biggest guests we've ever had. Uh, actually, I would imagine that probably would be yeah. one of the best guests that you've had, uh, Tim. So let me ask you this: uh, Tell us about your special. I notice you're not wearing a mask. I mean, uh, well, we shot it before the uh, Wuhan flu hit our country. Uh, well, it took a long time for it to come out. Yeah, it did take a long time for it to come out. Um, you yeah, know, it's it's slice of life stuff, Sam. It's it's observational Cosby comedy. It's um, the stuff that I grew up on. Uh, you know, it sort of reminds me. I was sort sort of one of the few people sort of happy to uh, have the virus come and shut down all the live venues. I don't know about you, but I was so relieved because you know, every couple of years, I don't know if you've had this experience. You're a married man, correct? Uh, no, not anymore. Okay, fair enough. All right. I mean, um, I'm pretty public, so. Okay. But you were married and you understand the relationship. Um, my wife, she would always say, oh boy, guess what? Was the train, the band Train is coming to town, right? The, remember the band Train? Pat no. Monahan, Train, they're a group in the 90s. You know, okay. Your audience, believe me, knows who they are. We'll look that up. Um, anyways. <laughs> They, this is always a funny story to me. They say, uh, she goes, you're going down and we're going to see them this Friday. They're, you're going to see, we're going to see them. And uh, she said, go down to Ticketmaster. So I'd go down there and um, I'd go up there. I'd say, uh, we would, we'd, we'd like two train tickets. And they would say, what do you think this is, an Amtrak station? And that's like, that's uh, where I'm coming from. The band yeah. Train. Um that's <laughs> good stuff what it's good stuff thank you uh so well all right so you, what do you it, think uh do you think what do you think we'll get out of the next debate sam were you guys talking about the debate do you think that there'll be any changes tonight, Eric. what's that it uh it happened uh the, oh i'm sorry did i call you eric i, I got confused because you, you did it that's, show, disrespe right? that's yeah. disrespectful the debate happened last night tim Yes, the, I know the debate. I'm talking about the next debate, the debate, assuming they're having another debate. No, that was the last one. That was the last debate. Oh, that's okay. That's, I'm a little disappointed. I, I'm, I, as an undecided voter, I'm still, uh, I would like to hear like maybe one more, whatever it is, a half hour, maybe even a, uh, another crack at the bat so I can kind of absorb the message from the two of them because I'm still kind of left with my hands up. I'm not really sure which way to go. Who are you going to vote for? No clue. <laughs> no clue. I'm lost. No. I like them both a lot. You know, right. I'm really, right. it's one of those, like, I might just kind of throw it, toss a coin. Huh? Damn. Who'd you vote for in uh, 2016? Paul, uh, who's, Paul, not Paul Ryan, Paul, Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Yeah. 2016. I think so, yeah. yeah. Liber <laughs> I think he ran in 2012. The libertarian, the libertarian. Okay, yeah. He didn't run in 2016. I wrote him in. You're allowed to do that, by the way. Now, why? Why, why did you? I'm uh, a libertarian. I'm a libertarian. I believe in the freedom of speech. Why don't you write him in this time? I could. I might. But I like Joe. I like Joe Biden. I like his record, um, and I like Donald Trump. I think he's done a good job. So it's just tough. It's. I mean, I'm sure I'm like a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be. It's gonna be rough to to still be weighing this out. Um, and so uh, your special. Uh, let's get back to that for just a moment because I'm, I was looking at the um, the thumbnail and you're making all sorts of funny faces. Huh? Thank you. Kind of stuff that we can expect. I I mean, it's a lot of, um, I mean, we're kind of two insiders, you know, this isn't something I might say on um, Access Hollywood or, or, you know, Entertainment Tonight or something, but my Have craft, you those places? I will be most likely doing some kind of junket at some point. I'll be doing the rounds. You want to do it before the, the thing debuts? 
Yeah, uh, we were wor working on that, but because of conflicts on their side, there's sort of things are up in the air. Um, right. You know, listen, there's, uh, there's just a lot of balls in the air. But what I like to do, and this is kind of, like I said, it's kind of two, two pros talking here. Uh, there's a lot of filler in it, in a way, because I, you know, I, I use crowd work. I use a lot, I, there's a, a lot of music uh, waiting, like, you know, we kind of, uh, there's, there's a lot of filler in it, which is good, because filler is what often makes the best food, you know, this sort of. Right. Well, it also makes it a longer experience, too, right? Well, you have to fill out the hour, and it's not going to be me up there with a bunch of material uh, and content. It's so it's it's uh, time killing, and a lot of that is face facial expressions, holding things, doing things over and over again, and um, repetition, uh, and also you know just focusing on my chunk. My there's about five minutes of good stuff in the special, and um, you know that chunk has been so fine, you know, refined over the years. It's been so almost perfected that you're seeing the best version of a five minute chunk. And do you disperse that five minutes of good material over the course of the 60 minutes? It exists or? in its, in its, in its chunk form in the five minutes sort of towards the end. But um, end. yeah. Yeah. And then we have I'm filler. Gonna, that's one of the things I think uh, you, you read about where comedians, you know, will say like, I'm trying to get a laugh every 30 seconds or I'm trying to get a laugh every 35 minutes or something like that. That seems more, you seem more uh, along that pace, like at one joke you know, every. Yeah, that was, that, that's that's like a difference between the uh, a sprinter or a marathon runner. Like I'm just looking to complete the marathon. Uh, the point is finishing it. The point is doing the hour, getting to the end of the hour. You follow me? It's yes, not necessarily of, about the work I do within the hour. It's about getting to the finish line. Except for marathons are actually graded based upon how quickly they get through them. And you're, you're trying to run it as... A, it the optimal time for me, if this was a marathon, which I could probably do, it would be an hour. So it's a similar experience uh, for me uh, on the stand-up specials. Yeah, we have an hour, let's try to fill it, best of my abilities, get to that five-minute chunk, and then get the hell out of there. Why did it have to be an hour? It's on uh, YouTube. Uh, it's not like you're doing it on commercial television. Well, HBO was in the market for this, and then they, they require an hour, and they backed out pretty early. But we had commit, I had already committed to the paying the camera guys and everything for the time, so we just went through with it. But, uh, yeah, it, 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 you know, I would skip to the last five minutes. But th that's what's great about YouTube. You can just scroll right through it. Yeah. Um, and, and you, you mentioned that, I mean, your is, show is for like four or five hours or something like that, right? It's, well, it's, it's gotta be it's a lot, lot of filler, a lot of important stuff to talk about. Sometimes we have filler every I day, think. every day. There's something super important to talk about. Sure. I'm sure there's no filler. Well, I'm, I, I'm, I think we're making the case that there's filler right now. Okay. Um, very good. Nice. Well, That's nice. I love that. Bang. I, but I, but believe me, I have, uh, you on tape right here. So, and I know what you're doing. You're cutting my mic, and you're and you're not making me making me look like an idiot. But we'll, my audience will be able to see exactly what's going on. So there's well, no worries there. You did mention that your special is being released on perhaps one of the most anticipated uh, nights of the comedy. I would say of comedy, probably at least this year. Right? I yeah. mean, everybody is talking about. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen's um, uh, premiere, and I, I honestly, I think this is probably the only time that somebody's talking about, you, you know, not talking about it when talking about yours, like right now. Yeah, that's it's kind of cool. Why is that? Well, I mean, who did did you not have people like think like? Do you not have people who schedule these things, or is it just sort of hap Excuse happening? Excuse me. You know what? Let me show you something because you're wrong. And you're, as usual, you're wrong. I have an article here. Tim Heidecker announces, oh, I'm bringing it up. Hudson Valley 360 is the website. HudsonValley360.com. Tim Heidecker what? announces his first ever stand-up comedy special in the evening with Tim Heidecker premieres on October 23rd. Heidecker announces it first ever special. And then it goes on. It tells the whole story behind it. So there's Valley. press. Yes, that is, uh, I think that's uh, from the Hudson Valley in New York, actually. Yeah. 
That's a reputable source. There's another one here. Also, this is in my Google Alerts. This is also coming in from Hudson Valley 360. Uh, same article. So they sent they sent me that twice. Google anything Google about, Alerts. Anything about any of the farmers markets that are happening this weekend as well? I'm not. No, I don't. I'm just looking at my coverage. There's a side thing. Uh, Prattsville candidates call for leadership, and. Yeah. Teutonic, uh, Taconic Driving School to reopen in-person classes. Those are the other big stories right now. So, right, but well, we have, you'll see uh, some other footage. You'll see some other coverage throughout the day, believe me. Okay. Um, we got a question from the audience. Oh, okay. uh, Quinn from Indianapolis. Ask Tim why his pits sweat so much. Mm. Is he hiding something? Do your, uh, how do folks gather that your pits sweat so much? Uh, I buy seeing them. You know, I'm... I, oh, is that why you wear that T-shirt underneath there? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I try my best, but I have uh, I perspirate. I'm a man. I have you know a lot of testosterone uh, surging through me, and it's I don't urinate normally. I don't norm urinate like a normal man. Uh, I urinate on a on a like a seven day period every seven days. So um, a lot of liquid uh, is released in, from my body through my armpits, and the doctors say it's perfectly normal. Um, that sounds. That sounds. I, I mean, running through your armpits sounds uh, normal. The the other stuff doesn't sound that normal. I, 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 because Sam, so you don't perspirate. Uh, I mean, not uh, no. Because that I shirt mean, that you're wearing looks like it's ready to to turn wet. Like it looks ready to turn wet. Like it could turn wet at any minute now. So we'll be watching that carefully. I spilled something on it, it would. Um, uh, let's I want to have you on our show, though, again. I want to make it up to you. I'm gonna fly, I want to fly you out and get you on a plane out to L.A., put you up right here in the studio, the Office Hour studio. Will you accept or will you not? Well, I, 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 I would have to check my schedule and, and wait. I don't think I would want to go into I mean, I know what you're alluding to. I uh, think we get you on a flight. It would be a Frontier is the airline I work with, or Alliance, who are awesome. And we get you. There are not a ton of flights out of the New York area, so we'd have to figure out when that would be. But they, I, knew that, I know they have a, a, a 6 a.m. flight out of Newark that could get mm -hmm. you here for the next day. And then right. there isn't a show. If we did that on like a Wednesday, they have two flights a week. So we'd do that on a Monday and get you out here for the Tuesday show and get you back Thursday or Friday. So uh, I, I, we can we can talk about that. Maybe, you know, my, my people will, will, will look at my schedule and, and see about that. But I, I'm looking at your press release about your 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 comedy special. And I just you, you mentioned this earlier. Cosby comedy. Nah. Right? You do. Cosby comedy. Is that, um, like, give me a sense of, of what that means. I mean, I don't know if you're aware of what, um, of He's in what prison for tax stuff or something. Was it tax stuff or I don't know. It's, it's more like a tax stuff. A tax. Yeah. Right. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, uh, assaulted, sexually assaulted women. He raped women is my understanding. Yeah. Nasty stuff. And he's a bad guy, but he's a great comedy. Uh, in, he's a great comedy mentor, and you know he's not. I separate the art from the artist. Did he actually mentor you? In a, uh, you know, in terms of have I watched the Cosby Show? Yes. Have I watched Bill Cosby himself? Have I watched Kodak Presents Bill Cosby? But that's not that's not mentoring. That's inspiring you, or or maybe influencing you. It's linguistics. Yeah, I mean, it's it's what words mean. Thank you. I mean that that's sort of what you're doing, right? With with your comedy special, is you're trying to fashion words in you such know, a way, you know, like the idea that people have a common understanding of language, probably pretty important to what you do, right? Or I like to call. I like to think that I there is a there is a my freedom of speech is being attacked at this right now and that's why i'm recording here live my my freedom of speech is i'm being suddenly i'm in a courtroom the sam cedar courtroom and i'm I being mean, judged by judge jury and executioner by you just because i mentioned that i liked one comedy guy who might have gotten himself in a little trouble 
gotten himself in a little hot water. So this is this, but this is the state of affairs right now. There's no way comedy cannot exist in this environment, and they're not letting comedians speak truth, and they are censoring. The censorship of comedians has never been. Uh, we've never seen anything like it before. And shame on you for being a part of the mob. Will you walk us through what 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 that uh, this censorship means? I mean, because when and we've talked about censorship in the past with comedians, it's like Lenny Bruce being arrested for saying. Uh, there some you go. Words. If in, Lenny Bruce, if Lenny Bruce was here today, believe me, he would not be allowed to say anything. He would have been so canceled by now. What? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so this canceled is different from being arrested, right? Right. Right. For, yeah, and you probably would have been arrested for some of the things he says. What? Like what? Like who's been arrested for stuff? I mean, you name it. Bill Cosby. Um, <laughs> Bill Cosby was not arrested for, for things that he did in terms of his comedy. I understand that, but he, the, he could have been, though. I mean, <laughs> he, he certainly is, is he could, in that position. Uh, look at uh, who's another one. There's another one that got just re recently. I'm blanking on him. A comedian got arrested for speaking honesty on stage. You got arrested, and a guy, we've never seen him again. He's off in underground somewhere. I don't know what's going on with that. Can't remember his name. Chris D'Elia, not him. Uh, Have you in any I don't remember, way? but whatever. There's a lot of them. A lot of comedy guys are getting arrested for saying what they think. Let me ask you. What, give me an example of how you've been censored. Well, I can give an exaggeration or an example, a hypothetical, if you want. I could give you like a, this is going to happen if you want. Well, that's okay. Let's start with that. That would be interesting to hear. So let's say I do the train chunk, which I just did for you guys out there. And then Joe Biden and uh, whatever her name is, Harris says, well, you can't be making fun of Amtrak because Amtrak is a government, uh, institute is a government agency. And uh, we're going to, you know, then you say, you're, if you say that joke on stage, you're going to jail. I mean, that's sick. That's spooky. Uh, that's an interesting hypothetical, but uh, w w let me see if I could add to that hypothetical. I am also a uh, famous uh, civil rights attorney, and I step in and get, do pro bono work for you, and I fight hey you, and you, you're, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Well, that could, it could game out that way, but I don't know. Or, or I don't or, know. Or maybe uh, aliens come from outer space and are able to put some type of protective cone around you so that even though they try and take you off the stage, they can't because they run into a, like an invisible force field that they can't penetrate. They don't know what it is because it's from the aliens. Right. Well, yeah, it's pretty creative and you're, I mean, you get, a, you get a lot of, you get a lot of uh, mileage on your show by being, you know, You've got producers in your ear telling you what to say and everything, and that's fine. But I'm by I, myself here, and I... What? I'm, I'm totally by myself here. Now, that's pathetic. <laughs> it is. It is. It, it is, is pathetic, Sam. And, then, and uh, you know, I have a lot of... I have all sorts of people here. We're having a lot of good time, a lot of fun. Well, this is really exciting, uh, for you. I mean, it's uh, hard because I'm, I'm always looking like, oh, should I say that? If, if I say this, if I say that, I'm going to get, you know, sent into Guantanamo. I'm going to send, uh, sent down as a political prisoner, but I still do it. Cause what else can I do except speak truth? And I'm a truth teller and you'll see it all tonight. And maybe tonight's special will air. And that's the last you'll ever see of me. And I'll get taken out. That's what do you mean by air? It's just going to, it's going to play on YouTube, right? It's be just the way it's on Netflix. I say it's like a Netflix special. The same kind of cameras were used in the filming, and it's a lot of people think it's maybe a better special than it would have been if it was on Netflix. If it was on Netflix, it would have been it would have been canceled by now. Was that video cameras? When you say the same kind of cameras, is it? Video They're Netflix cameras. cameras. They're can't. They're the pro cameras. So professional cameras. There you go. Okay, and sound. 
So is there a time that it's going to be on, or is it just sort of like show up uh, whenever? It's 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Cent uh, Central Time. So mm -hmm. that it'll premiere then, and then it'll be there, and it'll be available to anybody with a... If you have a YouTube subscription or an account, uh, it's real, it makes it, they make it really easy. And aside from that, you have on YouTube all sorts of other things. You've got Jacques, uh, Jacques Pepin, the cooking guy, has a thing going on on YouTube, and... I saw I the greatest true. American hero. You remember the greatest American hero TV show? Uh, old episodes of that are on a lot of stuff on YouTube right now. It's actually a great venue, great uh, platform for comedy and for entertainment. Pretty hard to get uh, get your stuff on there, I guess. Uh, in terms of upload, it's it's a, several hours for a high quality upload. Yeah. And it could fail. The upload could fail if you lose internet connection. Right. There's a lot of, a lot well, of you, obstacles along the way. I would imagine fiber. You, you need a fiber connection. So, Anything else? I think that's probably <laughs> it. But I hope this has been, you know, a better experience for you than, than frankly, I had on your show. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, what, what, what do you mean to send you, like a fruit basket? I'll send you a fruit basket, Sam. I'll well, send you an edible arrangements. Uh, that's actually... Right. Yeah, a lot of people actually do stuff like that when they want to say. Well, let sorry. me say, I'm so sorry that you had a bad time on my show. Well, it wasn't just a, I had a bad time. I was given a hard time, and I, I didn't appreciate that. Okay. But I understand. Cry this is more. The new, uh, new for you, and and you're you're doing your best. Cry so. more. Thanks, Sam. Good work on that uh, office uh, office hours live. So. Thank you, uh, Tim Heidegger. Steven Spielberg's calling, by the way, because it's an infringement of copyright, The Majority Report. There's already a movie called The Majority Report that he made with Tom Cruise. Look it up. You're in trouble. Big trouble, actually, and I'm going to be the one to push for that. Thanks, Sam. Good luck. Right. Have a good right. weekend. Philip K. Dick novel that it was about. Goodbye. And bye, everybody. Okay, and there you go. That was... I think we did it. We, we crashed. We crashed his server, and whatever, he lost. I destroyed him. That's it for him. That's the end of his career. He can go to hell. See you tonight.